Before we get straight into the podcast, I just want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors, D Kirby GA Star. Declan Kirby GA Star Championship Journey. It's a series of GA team children's books written by primary school teacher and GA coach Michael Egan. You can check it out in the link in the description down below, of course, as well. Follow the trials and tribulations of Declan Kirby and his team at Smith Green Gaelic Football Club, recently formed a promising GA team. The book is now available in Easton's and all good bookshops, so check it out in the description down below. And let's get straight into it i suppose antrim and wexford will move on to division 1b it was antrim 121 wexford 218 i mean this was a, a classic game in many ways you had jerry adams in the stands you had davy fitz sent off you had goals drama fans back as well i mean you had a bit of everything in this game really and in the end it finished all square yeah, absolutely superb game. And I was lo- one of the lucky enough uh, ones to sit at home and look out on my couch and watch it. Well, I wasn't at the game, which would have been way better, but it had everything, as you said, fights as well, with um, Matty O'Hanlon getting sent off, me and my man is getting involved as well, and a few scuffles on the touchline, Davy Fitz being sent to the stands, uh, screaming for a sideline ball. Like, we had our game back that day. Like, it was, it was just absolutely brilliant. The referee... While he had to be strict sometimes to send off the likes of Matt O'Hanlon and Neil McManus at times for wild pulls or whatever, or putting off face guards, he did manage the game relatively well, in all fairness. He let the game flow and let the two teams go, go at it, and it was an absolutely outstanding game. And the goals, the three goals were absolutely brilliant quality. The Wexford ones, let's not forget, were brilliant as well. The one with... Paul Barr striking on the ground, like that's huge skill. That's a brilliant goal to take. And yeah, I, I don't know about David Fitz's comments with uh, Darren Gleason might cause a bit of fire there, but look, it was a, it was an absolutely outstanding game, as you said. It had goalkeeper scoring as well. I think Mark Fanning scored a point as well, and Antrim coming back into it. And in all fairness, Antrim deserved to stay up. They've been absolutely brilliant in Division One B. They've been a breath of fresh air. They've got three points at the board. They've done their job. They've they've been absolutely brilliant in this campaign. And as I said, we'll don't look who's at his words right now. I know he was saying they'd still struggle after the game being clear, but I don't know what he'd say now. Like they're very competitive. I they're definitely going to stay up in division one. Will they stay up in the league? McCarthy's another question. I think they will give it Leash's form. But absolutely outstanding game, as you said. And I, I was privileged enough to watch it. Jerry Adams was privileged enough, I imagine, to watch it from the stands. And yeah, the key to Malloy points, you could hear the crowd roar in Cargill Park. It was absolutely outstanding. Brilliant score as well from him for such a brilliant league campaign as well. And he's probably been my team of the league as well. Key to Malloy, he's been absolutely outstanding over the last few games for Antrim. So well deserved to stay up for Antrim. And Wexford can't get first place now. And I suppose they'd be happy enough with that. Like they'll regroup going into the Leinster Championship. They'll play a strict second streak side again next week and just play a second streak side and go hell for later in the Leinster Championship over the next few weeks. I think it's Galway, if I'm not mistaken, in the semi final. Or right, but Kilkenny, I'm not sure. But yeah, I think it's Galway, go. I think. All right, yeah. Um, that's, that's actually going to be an interesting game. We'll see how Galway develop and all that. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how Wexford develop as well. They haven't been the best over the campaign, but we see the real best of them in the first half, what quality they do have, like Lee Chin, Rory O'Connor, Jack O'Connor, we came on, absolutely brilliant players, and Wexford should be doing a lot better, but they'll take the draw, and Andrew will take it with open hands anyway, and they're staying up in Division 1, and fair play to Andrew, they've, as I said, been a fresh, bread of fresh air in Division 1 this season. Yeah, absolutely. It's actually Kilkenny. I think Wexford are, will, will be playing anyway if they get past uh, if they get past Leash. But yeah, I suppose for Antrim, like they showed a tremendous amount of fight in, in that game. Like obviously conceding the two early goals from Lee Chin and Conor McDonald. Like they looked. You would have imagined from there that Wexford's experience would have been able to to see the game out. But I suppose for Antrim, once again at Corrigan Park, they seem to be really using that stadium, really using that home advantage to their absolute best and continuously fighting back and. You even seen like Neil McManus at one stage, like although he probably should have been sent off earlier, like he was really getting in the faces of some of the Wexford lads, like really putting it up to them. And 
I suppose they've, they've showed some fight altogether and they're definitely a, a team to, to keep a close eye on now for the, for the next couple of years in Ireland. Yeah, it's very interesting. You mentioned about uh, Dean McManus. He probably should have been sent off earlier on. He probably should have been sent off in the scuffle, but we'll leave mm. that. We'll leave that definitely. But um, he got sent off eventually. But it was absolutely great to see every Antrim player really get involved and show Wexford, like, this is really hell. This is Corrigan Park. And they will show that in the Leinster Championship if they can play games there. I hope they will, in all honesty, because it's it's going to be absolute it's going to be an absolute unreal atmosphere. I think Brendan Cummins compared us to like Galatasaray in the Champions League. And it it usually was hell for English sides like Chelsea or Arsenal going over to Turkey and trying to get a result in last 16 or group stage or whatnot. And it'll be the same with Antrim. It'll be very hard for a team that's are not co- continuously challenging for all Ireland. It's not like in Galway or Limerick or Kilkenny or Tipperary now, but I think the likes of Watford, Clare, as we've seen already, Cork, I would think Wexford, as we've seen as well, Leash, Kilkenny even. I think they might go up there and it might be a few problems. Like Antrim actually caused a few problems in Nolan Park. So imagine if it was up in Cargill Park and Antrim could cause a few problems there. So... Yeah, it's it's going to be very interesting to see how Antrim develop using that home ex- home stadium, Cargill Park, to their advantage, and it, it honestly will be very interesting to see. I I would think they'll use it to their advantage. They have to in the Leinster Championship. I know they have very good players, but home advantage is a key aspect. And if you make it like hell, the away side will feel threatened, and it could be a tough one for the away side then and. We'll, we'll see about Antrim in the, in the future weeks of the summer, but it should be very interesting. And I'm really looking forward to seeing some games in Cargill Park because they'll honestly be very interesting no matter what opposition go up. Even Limerick would see if if Limerick go up there, could Antrim challenge him? That'll be another discussion for another day, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. And like you obviously had the, the, the fans back as well, like obviously at, Cor- at Corrigan Park and we've seen fans back obviously at Ferm- the Fermanagh game and the, the Armagh game last week in football. I suppose how good is it to, to see fans now back in, in stadiums and obviously next weekend we'll, we'll have fans back obviously in the, in the Republic as well. So I suppose it's, it's been brilliant to see fans back. What's been your, your take on, on, on seeing fans back in stadiums? It's been absolutely outstanding. Like you see this with Armagh last week, like they got behind them. They didn't get the results they wanted last week, but at the same time, it was it was just absolutely brilliant. Just to, and it's probably the best stage Armagh have had in years as well in football. So it's brilliant that the fans could go out and see them playing out the flesh. That's like the Stephen Campbell and Reno Neal. And as for Antrim as well, after the clear win, I would think the fans would have been dying to get back into the stadium and. Lo and behold, they have got back into the stadiums now and there will be more next week. Like you have Cork and Westmead. I know it's 200 fans in Park and Cueve. Well, I'll be trying to get a ticket for that. And if I if I don't, you know, I'll, I'll die trying, as they say. And yeah, it's, abs- it's absolutely brilliant having fans in the stadium. And hopefully there'll be like half attendances in the other the final because we definitely need it. I know... It was great to have the GA back last year, but it's just missing that fan aspect. Like, you look at Mark Keane's goal, you look at Dublin winning the All-Irelands, you look at Limerick even winning the All-Irelands, I would have thought there'd be emotion up in the stands after that particular result, even though they did win it comprehensively at the end. Like, it's only their second All-Irelands since 73. So, I do feel sorry for fans in that aspect that they didn't see their teams, you know, breeding success like Cavan Tipperary last season as well. So, yeah, it'd be absolutely great to see fans. It was great initially to see fans last week and this week, of course, in the Antrim Wexford game. And long may continue next week, even though it's 200 fans, I believe, next week. So it won't be much atmosphere, but at least it's something anyway. So the diehard fans can watch their teams in the flesh. Oh 